Interference is a natural phenomena that happens at every place and at every moment. Yet we don't see interference patterns everywhere. Interference is the phenomena in which two waves superpose to form the resultant wave of the lower, higher or the same amplitude. The most commonly seen interference is the optical interference or light interference. This is because light waves are randomly generated from most of the sources. This means that light waves coming out of the source do not have a constant amplitude, frequency or phase. In thin film interference is a natural phenomena in which light waves reflected by the upper and lower boundaries of the thin film and interfere with one another, either enhancing or reducing the reflected light. The most common example of interference of light is the soap bubble, which reflects white colors when illuminated by a light source. Thin film interference explains the multiple colors seen in the light reflected from soap bubbles and oil films on water. When the thickness of the film is an odd multiple of one quarter wavelength of the light on it, the reflected waves from both surfaces interfere to cancel each other. Since the wave cannot be reflected, it is completely transmitted instead. When the thickness is a multiple of a half wavelength of the light, the two reflected waves reinforce each other, increasing the reflection and reducing the transmission. Thus, when white light, which consists of a range of wavelengths, is incident on the film, certain wavelengths, let's say colors, are intensified while others are attenuated. In these two pictures, first of all, a colorful interference pattern is observed when light is reflected from the top of the bottom or the boundaries of the thin film, which is oil film. In the second picture, the colors in the light reflected from the soap bubble is shown here. The interference in two traveling waves is shown in this figure number two. The phenomena of interference between the waves is based on this idea. That is, when two or more waves transverse the same space, the net amplitude at each point is the sum of the amplitudes of the individual waves. Interference of left traveling, which is shown in green color, and the right traveling, which is shown in blue color, waves in one dimension resulting in the final, that is red color, wave. In some cases, such as in noise cancelling headphones, the summed variation has a smaller amplitude than the component variations. This is called destructive interference. In other cases, such as in line array, the summed variation will have a bigger amplitude than any of the components individually. This is called constructive interference. Now consider, for example, what happens when two identical stones are dropped into a steel pool of water at different locations. Each stone generates a circular wave propagating towards from the point where the stone was dropped, which is shown in this diagram. When the two waves overlap, the net displacement at a particular point is the sum of the displacements of the individual waves. At some points, these will be in phase and will produce a maximum displacement. In other places, the waves will be in antiphase and there will be no net displacement at these points. Thus, part of the surface will be stationary. These are seen in the figure to right as a stationary blue-green lines radiating from the center. Now let's see the types of interference. The principle of superposition of waves states that when two or more waves of the same type are incident on the same point, the resultant amplitude at that point is equal to the vector sum of the amplitudes of the individual waves. Interference of light waves can be either constructive interference or destructive interference. If the crest of a wave meets the crest of another wave of the same frequency at the same point, then the resultant amplitude is the sum of individual amplitudes. This is known as constructive interference. These waves will have the same displacement and are in the same phase. Similarly, if the crest of the wave meets the trough of the another wave, then the resultant amplitude is equal to the difference in the individual amplitudes. This is known as destructive interference. 
the displacement and the phase of these waves are not the same. In physics, interference is a phenomena in which two waves superpose to form a resultant wave of greater, lower or the same amplitude. This definition we have already seen. The constructive and destructive interference results from the interaction of the waves that are correlated or coherent with each other either because they come from the same source or because they have the same or nearly the same frequency interference effects can be observed with all types of the waves for example light waves radio waves acoustic waves surface water waves gravity waves or matter waves as shown in these diagrams the interference of two waves when in phase the two lower waves create constructive interference resulting in a wave of greater amplitude when 180 degree out of phase they create destructive interference of the light which is shown in these two diagrams now we understood that interference is a natural phenomena that happens at every place and at every moment in which light waves coming out of a source do not have a constant amplitude frequency or phase two sources are said to be coherent when the waves emitted from them have the same frequency and constant phase difference the coherent sources have the following characteristics the waves generated have a constant phase difference and the waves are of single frequency coherent sources for example laser light is an example of coherent source of light the light emitted by the laser light has the same frequency and phase. Sound waves are another example of coherent sources. The electrical signals from the sound waves travel with the same frequency and phase. 